construction video for putting together the Velleman soldering iron stand deluxe. Uh, it didn't come with uh, directions, so I thought I'd uh, create this little video to help people out in putting it together the easiest way the first time, rather than fumbling with it uh, as I did. So, you can see that this plate has uh, two holes at the back, three at the front. Uh, this one is, of course, for your uh, sponge tray. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with this right side first. And we're going to put the front screw in first. Okay, so here we go. And the only tool you're going to need for this is a Phillips head screwdriver. This happens to be a ratcheting screwdriver, uh, which is a little more convenient. Um, so here we're going to throw this down here. All right, now before we get too tight, we want to make sure that that's loose enough that we can align that uh, bracket with the hole in the back. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because it's a whole lot easier to get your hands in here uh, to put this screw in if that is already being held in place and you have your hands free to hold this bracket up and put the screw in and then get that. Uh, now you can tighten those down. Okay, so that's, uh, that's that. Now, let's go ahead and work from the back to the front or right to left as it were. And we're gonna put the uh, little sponge tray in here next. And so this is of course goes in very nice and easily, very quickly. And that is now tightened down. The next thing we want to do is find the little tiny screw and nut. These uh, are designed to hold this little doodad, a uh, highly technical term. This goodie is for holding the solder into in position so that when you need to pull more solder off the uh, spool, it's very easy to just reach up and uh, grab your solder off the spool instead of having to fumble around uh, picking it up off the table. So let's see if we can get that knot nut on there. And all right, so I'm holding it in the back with my finger. Okay, so we're getting it to a point where it's tight enough that we want to position it. Okay, so, all right, so that's good and tight now. Now, of course, we only have two more screws to go in, and we will put the back screw in. We'll just drop that right into that hole like that, and... Screw that down enough so that it holds it up. The final screw is ready to go in. And we can slide that around until it drops in. And so now we're getting the last screw down. Okay, that one's good and tight. That one's good and tight. Next. I find it easier to put this handle on by pulling it here from this open side. It is very stiff, so you'll want to have somebody uh, with good strong hands there to help you put that together, if, especially if you're a youngster. Um, and so here we put our spool of solder on the center core. We slide that down in from the back like that. It drops down into that little notch and of course we're pulling it off the top and we feed it through that little hole. So now we have solder ready at hand to be uh, used for our project. We have our soldering iron in position and there you go. Now you have solder ready to use. Your soldering iron nice and hot and yet safe so it's not burning holes in your 
table or your hands uh, when you need to go reach for it. It's very conveniently positioned. And there you go. That is the assembly of the Velleman Soldering Iron Stand Deluxe. This product is available from gssteched.com. Enjoy!